And so let's go straight. Uh, thanks for joining us on this sports segment. This day, we will be talking about uh, the VAR, Video Assistant Referee. It is football's latest technology that seeks to assist and not replace human referees in their job. Now, the Confederation of African Football, CAF, is making strides to match up in the world stage as the body last week wrapped up a five-day training workshop for some African referees in South Africa on the use of the VAR. But the big question remains, is Africa ready for the technology? In 2018, for example, in the Brazilian top flight championship, clubs refused to use this technology, citing costs. The clubs had to pay an estimated cost of $6.2 million just for a season to facilitate the installation of the VAR system. Again, last year, the authorities of the Moroccan Football Federation had turned around after announcing video arbitration as one of the main innovations of the Moroccan Championship, a postponement justified by the particularly high cost of its implementation. And now, Alium Sidi Niang uh, joins us from Cameroon. He's an international referee. We shall be attempting to see the possibilities of this technology in Africa with him. Thanks for joining us, Alium. Uh, first up, do you see the VAR as a need uh, to your job as a referee? Well, if, 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 if we don't know, Evidently, so, yes. Because we saw how it worked during the World Cup in Russia, as well as in other leagues abroad for their domestic leagues. It is something that is really assisting referees in their decisions. So it is a needed support if you can have the technology here in Africa. But again, it is something that is extremely costly. So if African countries can have it, it will help develop football. It is really going to help us all. Personally, I see it as a plus and must be welcomed. Now, speaking of the cost, do you see a country like Cameroon, which has uh, all sorts of administrative difficulties managing football, do you see them ever using the VAR anytime soon? Cameroon is a great football nation. Why not, if they can sacrifice? But the system we have as a football federation, as well as great sports ministry, so I think Cameroon can do it. But like I said, it is very costly. We were in South Africa for the CAF workshop. And as a nation, they have their system already. And they gave CAF permission to use it for the workshop. Morocco and Egypt also have their system. Any idea on how much uh, it could cost? That I cannot tell. I don't even have an estimate. But I know it costs millions upon millions. It is not easy. You can imagine in a football game, we need between 10 to 18 cameras in a stadium. Also with all other supporting equipment and staff. All of this is very costly, but like I said, Cameroon is a great footballing nation that can have the VR system if they decide. Thanks, Aluma. As a reminder, the African Football Confederation CAF has endorsed the use of VAR, particularly in continental competitions. Egypt already has the system, so it shall be used as from the quarterfinals of the upcoming Africa Cup of Nations. Thanks for sharing your views uh, with us, uh, Alium. And uh, it's always a pleasure having you. Get more sports news on our website at www.africanews.com forward slash sports. Bye-bye for now.